how you doing? And you're like the, the boss of the fun part at work? That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. But you're in charge of uh, off-roading and uh, towing for pickup trucks? Yes. Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, the, the, the off-roading part is super fun, no? Oh, yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, so tell us what we're going to do. And tell us a little bit about this truck first, please. Okay, so what we're in today is uh, King Ranch. Uh, three liter diesel. This is the Lion Diesel that we've uh, put in for this uh, 18 and a half model year launch. Uh, what's the horsepower? Okay, so what we're in today is uh, King Ranch uh, three liter diesel. This is the Lion Diesel that we've uh, put in for this uh, 18 and a half model year launch. What's, what's special about the off-roading capabilities of this truck? This is a luxury truck and uh, with this truck we have the three liter diesel that provides us a smooth uh, delivery of power. The truck itself, even though it's luxury, the bones of the truck is that it's a work truck and it can do whatever you need it to handle. So we're on the course now. We are for low? For high. Oh, for high? For high with the e-locker, so the rear axle is locked. So go fast here? If you want to, go ahead. Okay, a little bit wow. of that. <laughs> I hope the camera likes that. The <laughs> now we're going to our off-camber hill. So on this, you'll see that the vehicle is going to tilt while going up the grade. We'll see uh, roughly about 15 degrees of tilt in the vehicle. To the side, yeah. Yep. So this is, uh, we can say, the both extremes of this uh, F-150, like super luxury but super yes. capable. Yes. Need to tow something, uh, a large trailer, uh, no, or some over 11,000 pounds or you need to go off-roading and uh, you have some obstacles you need to go around or over, the truck can do it. So we're here outside Denver, Colorado, and even though we're uh, pretty much two weeks into, no, well, actually a month into yeah. spring, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cold and you got a lot of snow the other day, right? We did, it, it made this course uh, extremely pretty tough because uh, we had a bit of snow down, I think we got like two inches of snow, and then we had rain all day on top of that. Oh wow. So it made uh, things a little bit more complicated. I mean, you're going to have a, a lot of work cleaning the truck afterwards, but oh, I guess yeah. that's part of it. It's part of it. It's, it's, we're going to go ahead and stop. Yeah. We're going to go to 4x4 four four low. Oh, what do we have to put in neutral first? Put in neutral. Yep. And pull that knob back out again. Nope. Put it in 4x4 four four low. What knob? Pull it out. Oh, pull, pull it out. Right, that's okay. what locks the diff. Oh, okay. Excellent. So you gotta put it back in drive. That will help. So go over slow. So we're doing the rock crawl. You can see the vehicles. So pretty a lot of articulation yes. in each wheel. <laughs> is this truck is equipped with any kind of plates underneath? Yeah, it has a skid plating. So you have a skid plate for your engine. You have one for your T case. You have one for your fuel tank. So right now you want to come to stop again. You want to put it in 4x4 four four high. You want to push it in? Nope, nope, just, tur no, just, just turn just it. Just okay. And then, nope, put it in neutral. Then go back to drive. Are there systems that you can do that on the fly? You can do it from 2 high to 4 high, but when you go to 4 low, you have to stop. Okay. So now we're climbing a, a, a dirt mountain, and you can just kind of easy torque, pull you right up, no issue. You see it's kind of rough out here, <laughs> yeah, bouncing good. around. Go to your left a little bit. And now you're gonna go to the right between these two bushes right here. Oh, pretty deep. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you get into these things and you think, oh, there's no way we're gonna get out of it. But <laughs> that's why your it work gets into through. it, right? Yeah. It'll pull right through. Now we're kind of in the mud and ruts, so. So this hill right here is a little greasy from all the mud. Mm -hmm. Just uh, kind of give it power to pull up. Straighten your wheel out, straighten your wheel out. There you go, keep going, there you go. So these cameras allow us to see wherever we're going and they say like 360 view there, Yeah, right? so the one on the right is the 360 view all the way around the vehicle. The one on the left is actually your front view. If you put it in reverse, it automatically goes to reverse. So now there it's reverse. So it's reverse with again with the 360. So these are your moguls. So this shows you your approach and departure angles. Also, we can see. What? Do we have a number for that? So their approach angle, I believe, is on this is 28, and your departure, I, think, I believe, is 25. Oh, wow. yeah. And then you also have your skid plating that protects you from uh, 
protecting your engine, your TK, yeah. and your fuel tank. So what's next? What are we doing next? So next we have the big hill that we're gonna go up. Come down, so right there to the left. Yep, up to the left. So you're gonna venture off to the right here. That looks pretty steep going up. It is. <laughs> well, like what, 37 degrees and 30? Uh, I haven't maybe. measured it going up. I uh, we'll see when we go up now. So the highest we hit was 25 degrees going up. Oh, okay. I know going oh, down. You have the, the you have the instruments there. Yeah, you so can see right there on your cluster. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Now, so what we're gonna do is line up so we can see going down. So you need to turn a little bit more to your left. So now going down, I know this is actually uh, 29 degrees going down. And hill descent is automatic. Hill descent is automatic, but we don't have it on this truck, so oh, you okay. have to use your brakes. Wow, scary. That looks scary. So yeah, that was 29 degrees going down. So you're gonna go across here. This next section is look is a bit bumpy, so. Turn your camera on so you need this to see around you so you have a rock here on your right there's mm -hmm. a pole on your left then you have a pole here on your right you see it mm-hmm yep so when you get to the top of this hill once to stop right here yep right here's good all right so this next part is we're gonna go down this small hill and we get to the flat we want you to go to wot which is wide open throttle a pedal to the metal as best you can to go around the curve and then we're gonna go into a ditch. From It's still a little damp out here, so the best case is to go into the curve with a little bit of speed, and, and then once you get it lined up, the vehicle floor. lined up to the ditch, nail it. Okay. Put the pedal to the floor, and uh, let's go hit, let's do it. <laughs> That's fun. And our camera is still on. So camera is still on. All right. <laughs> so I guess in the process of developing this, you did a lot of testing. Obviously, that must be the that's the fun part of the job. We could say it's, it's the fun part. It's uh, it means it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of work. I know it looks fun, but it's yeah. a lot of work that's involved. A lot of measurements, yes. a lot of testing, and and, and repeating, repeating, repeating. Yes. Right. Right. Make sure we're okay. Make sure you don't have any issues. Uh, there's a lot of different teams. Yeah. Make sure the systems work well together. You mainly test in uh, Dearborn or you go around? So we do have a facility in uh, Michigan, uh, in Romeo, Michigan that we test. Yeah. Uh, and then we also go out to a place in California where we test. So that's a lot of the off-road. But we do like a lot of trailer tow, uh, Davis Dam, Eisenhower, a lot of other places across the country uh, where we do our testing. And we have wind tunnel testing for cooling and Everybody make sure that everything is, yeah. Thank you very much. Great right. job. Thank and you. it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>